Hello everybody. In this spreadsheet tutorial, we're going to go over how to replace blanks in a set of data with zeros. And if you're familiar with Excel, you can normally do this pretty easily with the go to option and it finds the blanks and replaces all the blanks with a zero. However, in this case, we're going to go ahead and use a formula. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have our data set and it's um, made up sales data for a year's period of time. And what we want to do is replace each of these blanks in this data set with zeros. And oftentimes you want to do this to clean up your data set a little bit and it can also make it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our months. Let's put them below our original data set. Let's select our cell and put in our formula. We're going to use an if is blank to start. So hit your equals, type in if, left paren is blank. Okay, so now in your is blank function, go ahead and for the first argument, select the first cell in your original data set. We'll go ahead and close that paren, put a comma, and so far this is saying if this cell that we've selected is blank, do something. If it's blank, put a zero, okay? So we're saying if A3 is blank, comma, fill that with a zero. Next, put another comma. If it's not blank, leave it as is. Okay, and we can close that paren or not, it'll go ahead and close it for us. So let's recap this formula. It's saying if is blank, what is blank? We've put our cell in there, A3, to start with. If it is blank, put a zero. If it's not blank, leave it as is. Let's go ahead and hit return. Okay, so so far this is looking good. Our A3 cell is not blank, so it just returned what is currently in that cell. Now we should be able to just go ahead and drag this formula down and across. So first let's drag it down. We know it goes to about right here. Now just be aware of where your data set stops. If you continue to drag it down, that's really not a problem because you'll know that 1779 is the last row in our original data set. And we know that these are not correct, so we can just go ahead and delete those. Now let's go ahead and drag the formulas over. And let's compare our data set here to our original data set and see if it correctly filled in the blanks with zeros. Okay, so on our first column, after the 8,200, we had a blank, it put a zero there. We had blanks here, here, and here, it looks good. In column E, we had a blank after, we're just doing kind of a random check here. In column E, after 8,135, we had a blank, replaced it with zero, there's blanks here. So it looks pretty good, all of the blanks in our original data set have been appropriately and correctly filled in in our new data set here with zeros, okay? So now if you wanna go ahead and get rid of those formulas, now that you can see that they have been correctly filled in with zeros, you can just do a simple copy, then go up to your edit and paste special, and then click on the paste values only. Okay, and that gets rid of the formulas. Now we'll go ahead and reformat this. So we'll decrease our decimal places to two, and we'll click on the format as currency. And now we have a cleaned up data set with all of the blanks replaced with zeros, and this will make your data set just a little bit easier to work with in the future. Okay, so that's it for this spreadsheet tutorial on how to replace blanks with zeros. We will be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.